Welcome everyone to this week's Color Scope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com and this week I have a fellow Brit as a guest, Roz Coleman. Hi Roz. Hey. <laughs> Roz is a psychic artist. She's a medium. She connects with your spirit guides and she also connects with past life images as well. So take a look at Roz's website, Spirit Guide artist.com so you can't get that wrong <laughs> spiritguideartist.com so um Roz is part of the world visionary summit as well so she's one of the mediums um, that will be talking about mediumship and her ability to connect with guides and with past lives and with loved ones in spirit too and she creates the most beautiful images so we're going to use the images in our color scope this week so Roz has chosen three colors use your intuition to select one of those colors. If it feels right, then select all of them and just think about which one is your favorite color and then um, choose them one, two, three. So the colors are pink, blue, or gold. So use your intuition to select one of those, pink, blue, or gold. Okay, so we're gonna go with pink first. So pink energy, of course, is the energy of the inner heart. There's a, a strong love that comes with this pink energy. And I always think about it being very fluffy, like candy floss or um, sugar candy, that kind of energy that's all around you right now. But the thing with this is that it might make you feel a little bit vulnerable because it is pink. It doesn't have the boundaries. It is open to love. Your heart is totally open. So we can take this in a couple of different ways. You may be feeling more vulnerable than usual, but this can be a good thing because you may be accepting more love into your life, more abundance as well, and more opportunities. And you might be pink links with sound. You might be hearing music or hearing words that are coming from spirits. You might be getting more messages, not necessarily as you're looking at me. It could be that you're getting those messages in your dreams when you're a little bit more vulnerable to those um, psychic energies in the universe. So let me hand you over to Roz and see what Roz has to say about pink. You can see this gorgeous image. Mm -hmm. Well, I've chosen, Elizabeth, an image of a guide um, who actually appeared for a, for a client about, I think it was 2005, it was a long time ago. And the colors in her picture are predominantly pink. And when I first start drawing a picture, I start seeing colors and the colors give me a starting point. So pink to me always means love. And the pinks in this picture are very delicate pinks. She was a very delicate person. And can you see that the flowers around her are pink? Everything about this guide is floral and everything about this guide is tenderness and love. And if you look at the shape of her face, the shape of her face is like a pansy. Her lips, which are pink, she loved speaking kind words. Rosebud shaped lip, shaped lips, cornflower blue eyes, her name, the name she gave was Mignonette. So everything about this guide was floral. And what was interesting about my sitter was that she had just started out on a journey of healing. And she, it was like being a child in a sweet shop. She just didn't know what she was going to do. She, so she was going for crystals, she was going for Reiki and exploring all kinds of things. And she hadn't got a clue what this beautiful guide was for. And I kept seeing her at events and she said, I still don't know what my guide is for, Ros. But three years later in 2008, she came up to me so excited and she said, I know what, I know why she's here. It's because I've found my love of healing. She said, I'm with Australian bark flower essences. So isn't that extraordinary? Oh, wow, with the flowers. Exactly. Oh, it's beautiful. And there she is. That's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. 
guide. <laughs> Thank you. So our next color is blue. So blue energy, of course, links with the throat chakra. And I always say, if in doubt, throw some blue on it if you need healing. So if you don't know what color to use for healing, use blue because you, blue is a universal color. It's universally accepted as a healing color. And it's also a color of truth and faith and belief. And it links to the divine. So I feel that with this, it's just saying right now, you may need to um, put a cloak of love around yourself, which is not necessarily pink. It could be blue. And that blue, of course, is more of a, a masculine color. It's more of a power color. So it may be that you just need to be empowered or you need to feel your own power or you need to feel the power of the divine and your angels and your guides with you. Blue helps you to find your purpose and that purpose could well be divinely guided. So you might need to connect with your guides, with your angels, with your loved ones in spirit to help guide you on your path at the moment. Blue is a color that helps you speak your truth. So you may also need to speak your truth about who you are and your path and your purpose. But you might just need to go inside of yourself first before you do that to help you find the right words or the right situation or the right day even, the right vibration to do that. So that's it. I had to, the sound of the clock coming in at the same time. <laughs> it's the right time for you. <laughs> so I'll hand you over to Ross and see what Ross has to say, which image comes up with blue. Well, everything that you were saying totally resonates with this particular image. It's very different. And I work with different <gasps> artists, or different artists seem to work through me. She's quite hard to see. Oh, wow. This this picture was absolutely extraordinary and my sitter just was said nothing throughout the whole picture but can you see that cloak of blue around this guide protective absolutely protective the blue at the top is celestial that is spirit that is the universe that is the heavens now Notice also the pink right through the center and the pink in those sort of wing-like things at the top. That is love. And this guide was looking down. She has such tenderness and such protection around her, layers of protection. And I had the feeling that she was tending or caring, very much like a nurse. And I don't know whether you notice, but in the background, can you see that right through the picture, there is a picture of an angel right at the top. It's coming right through the center of the picture with the wings at the top. And that's an angel in ascension. And this guide, who looks like a ghost, and a lot of people have said, gosh, that guide looks so much like a ghost. It, it was absolutely extraordinary because while I was painting this picture, I felt absolutely nothing except the nurturing space that this guide was providing. And when I finished sitting and I kind of relayed this back to my sitter, she said that this guide was one that she had seen two years before when her husband passed. And this was the guide that took him to spirit. And what I was absolutely amazed about was the fact that there is an angel in this picture. And I swear, Elizabeth, I have painted thousands of pictures over the years. And on three occasions, there has been an instance of somebody who has passed to spirit in every situation, every picture, there was an angel there waiting. And I think that is very, very nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So, yes, in this context, the blue is protection. And I would also associate it with communication. And the communication going on here is you are safe and you are cared for. And my sister actually was a Macmillan nurse who herself um, worked with people who had terminally terminal illnesses so it was very appropriate for her 
That's gorgeous. Mm. Thank you. My pleasure. That's a pleasure. Sweet. <laughs> All right then, so our final color is gold, and you may have noticed there's gold kind of running through. And when we started out, when, when Raz and I started out with the connection to start the color scope, there was this gorgeous gold energy that was coming into her energy field. You know, I often link gold with angels, with an angelic presence. And when I see lots of gold around people's energy fields, it's not just about connecting to angels, it's connecting to a higher vibration, a higher consciousness. Gold is the energy of wisdom, um, it's the energy of a divine guidance, but it's the most beautiful guidance. It's given with love, I mean all guidance is given with love, but this has such a, a powerful purpose. And I feel if you've chosen gold, then something is saying to you right now that you have a higher purpose. You have a mission, a job to do. It doesn't have to be a spiritual mission. It could be that you need to call someone um, who you know has been on your mind and that person needs to hear from you or you have a message for that person that you don't realize you have a message for them. I feel that that golden energy is very much about divine messages of guidance, that you have something to share with somebody else that needs to hear from you. You are a messenger. And it might just be one time, a one time message, a one time job. It's like your calling card. It's just a one time calling card. But that golden energy is going to help you right now. So if you've chosen that, if you're thinking of someone, you need to give them a call. Or you need to connect with them because that person needs you. I feel like you're needed in the world right now. All right then. <laughs> so I'm going to send you over to Roz. See what Roz has. I'm all excited. <laughs> this guide is very different and he was predominantly gold. Now when I see gold, again, I think higher purpose. And I also think richness. Now this guide, the, the, the color that went down on the paper was all gold. And look how that gold radiates from this gentleman. He radiated richness. There is pink all through that gold. He loved richness. He was in fact a courtier. He gave his name as Charles, Charles Mauritania. And he was a French courtier who was <laughs> very fun to channel, actually, because he had quite a way with the ladies. He was absolutely adored by ladies, and he adored ladies. But the purpose of his being with the sitter um, was was quite quite different, because what he used to do was he used to be invited by ladies of the court to their salons on the pretext of his giving them advice about decorating their rooms, which he was really able to do. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, and so th this, is, this is what he did. My, my, my friend who I did the sitting for said, well, I'm actually in the process of decorating all my house at the moment. I haven't got a ch 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 I haven't got an idea what um, colour to choose for each room. And you see those little pearls that are going up from his head? They've got little dashes of blue in, which in this context means communication. And it's going to, the, the ideas that he's giving her are going to come in like little pearls of wisdom, little flashes of inspiration. But um, we both absolutely fell in love with this man while I was channeling him because I could feel what it was like to be a lady courtier in his presence. And, um, oh, well, I'm nearly 60 and it brought back some memories. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's a different all message. <laughs> all about richness and higher vibration. Um, there are flashes of higher vibration here, right? Um, how can I see it? Just around here. But all this is richness, but it's almost like an earthy richness. And it was um, painted on a brown paper, which is an earth colour. So there he is, Charles Mauritania. That's interesting because um, he's coming in to bring advice. 
So that golden energy is, you know, again, it's like a piece of advice that's coming there, even though there might be other things going on too. <laughs> Just another message, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, that was wonderful. Thank you so much, Roz. And... Um, so just to, the, all those images were so beautiful and you know um, Roz made uh, a spirit guide image for me too so if you get my newsletter you'll see that image it's just gorgeous she's so talented how long does it take you to do one to create one image incredibly only about 45 minutes oh for goodness sake I mean they're just they're just gorgeous really the detail is fabulous I, I don't do them extraordinary thing is I don't do them they're channeled so I have other artists that work and this is why I think they're all so different right and um, it's quite extraordinary I, I, I mean as a person I don't paint people I paint animals so it's just always a surprise <laughs> I always love that I love being surprised <laughs> Now, do check Roz's website, um, spiritguideartist.com. And um, she comes from England, but of course, I'm in the United States. It's, she can email you images, and, and then she sends them, of course, in the mail. So I'm looking forward to, to receiving my image in the mail. And, of course, she will be part of the World Visionary Summit, Psychic Mediums. Uh, sharing their secrets to connecting with the other side. So that's coming up in November. And do take a look at my website, sealedwithlove.com. So until next week, thank you for joining us and thank you to Roz. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>